welcome to my YouTube channel. We are going to learn today how to make a pattern for some baby shoes. It's actually fairly simple. It's three pieces and I'm going to show you how to measure all of these just on a simple 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. All you're going to need with this is a ruler, one sheet of paper, and any form of writing utensil. First things first, you're going to want to measure half of your sheet of paper lengthwise and obviously go four, four and a half. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you have that straight line to follow. Notice all down the middle is what we're going to follow today. Our first item we're going to follow is my sole of my shoe or the bottom of the shoe. And that's going to be four by two. Just measure four inches on your line, stay close to the top, and then put some markers in here. You got a marker here and a marker here. Then you're going to want to measure two and a half inches sideways, and again, just find that middle point and go an inch and a quarter off each one. And make your points and then just connect them. What you're going to want to do is this is the back of the sole of the shoe and this is the front. So you're going to want to make this a little bit more wide. That's where your toes go. I mean if you think of your toes, they're, they go like this. Um, and then make this a bit narrow because that's where the heel is going to go. Next, you're going to want to do this is the top and you're going to want to do four of them because when in our next video where you're sewing them together you're going to understand why they need to be the way they do because it, it all connects into one obviously. So your next one you're going to want to make like a half of a circle, half of an oval better. Again, start on this line, measure two inches down with your ruler, draw that line, then, you know, again, mark your points. Here, we're going to do four inches. Mark it. Then you would have this line and this line. And then just connect them. Because, again, this is going to be the top, the front of your shoe. And you're going to want to make that more wide, but it's going to want to bubble up so it doesn't want to match what this looks like. Because, obviously, you need places to put the toes. Next, we have the back of the shoe and this is it goes from the it wraps around basically the heel and that these sides are going to measure exactly what these are because and in the next video again you'll understand why that is um, <clears throat> so you're going to want to make this a bit more than this because it's got to go around this foot so we're going to measure five inches. Again, mark your points. Then we are going to go two inches. I did not mark that, but we need two inches right there. <clears throat> and then what we do here is I measured an inch and a half and left myself a half inch for this spot. And you'll see again in the next episode why we're doing this but just trust me. So then we want this to be roughly two inches to go in there. So we're going to mark those. We've got our points. We're going to go down to four and a half inches after that two inch mark right here. You're going to draw your line. you got four points. Match these up straight. And this bottom one you're going to want to again do a curve. They, it may get better as you go. But this is all you need to do for these. Then when you're going to cut, you're going to want to do two soles, two tops, and then two backs. You can do four of these, but it's kind of a waste and it just makes things, I don't know, it's just better to just do two. So then join me for the next episode and you'll see how this process is all done. Thank you.